Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. For the sake of time, we're just gonna jump straight into the video. You saw the thumbnail, you know what we're doing. This is my map after I flattened it. No terraforming or anything on it, just a few leftover pieces of river that I didn't fill in and that's it. So I start out by making the mouth in the middle and I did this in square C4. I made it so my mini map always shows on my screen and I found that really helpful since I was kind of making like a symmetrical image. So if you ever see me me just standing still in the footage. It's just me looking at the minimap, just so you know. This is pretty self-explanatory. I just made a v-shape and filled it in. So while I do this, I wanted to show you my original sketch concept that I made in Happy Island Designer. I always want to have like a big meaty project on every one of my islands that I make. So this is going to be Leapfrog's big project. A lot of you sent me pictures of like these little frog shaped ponds that people do on their islands. And I was kind of inspired by those to create this. I wanted that same concept, like waterscaping in a frog shape, but just on a way bigger scale. <laughs> now I'm working on the forehead, nose, bridge. I don't know what this is called. Like the flat part between the two eyes. You can see that I already tried to make this part like above me, but it was too high up and it looked weird. So I had to bring it down a couple of spaces. And now I'm going ahead and I'm working on the right eye, trying to like do the first little curve and make it look decently shaped. My strategy for this was just to create like kind of a rough outline all around and then go back over and fill everything in and like flush it all out. And honestly, making the curves was super hard. The whole thing was kind of hard for me in general because I hate waterscaping. It is not my favorite thing to do in Animal Crossing. Um, I dislike it. I don't know why, I just do. So even though this process was very much worth it and it came out great, I was dying a little on the inside the whole time I was doing this. So this is what my map is looking like after I finished the first little eyeball after doing both of those curves. And then also for the sake of time, I'm just going to show you just a little bit of me flipping fleshing out the right eyeball shape. I just started extending it. I decided to make like the widest part to be four blocks wide max. Some of the areas are not all four blocks wide or four spaces wide or whatever. Some of them may be three or even two. I don't know. Just the curve areas, I was not going to make it like super accurate. And then here's what my map also looks like after I finished fleshing out kind of like the right side of the eye. I still have that left curve area to do. And then here's me connecting the like little curve that's on the left side of the right eyeball to the middle of the face, top, fa forehead. I don't know. You know, it's kind of hard to explain some of this stuff that I'm doing, but I hope you can follow along regardless. This is the top middle of the head. You can kind of see on the mini map and it's pretty self-explanatory. Just made straight lines. And then here is the left eyeball, half of it kind of outlined already. I filled in that little outline that I did and here as you can see on my map it's starting to come together a little bit. So we have the right eyeball curve and we have half of the left eyeball and we also have the middle and the little mouth so it's looking great. Next I used some pathing to mark out like how long like kind of like just the measurements rough measurements so at least the eyes could be a little bit even in case you're wondering it's eight tiles long at the top. So if in case you want to kind of do the same thing, I don't know. This thing definitely did not come out even like whatsoever. I can even see it on the map, but am I going to go and like be really picky and like try to make it super symmetrical and even? No, because who has the time? But anyways, here is what it's looking like. As you can see, I brought the left eyeball curve a little more in. So I need to go and fix that on the other side. But yeah, there is like kind of the top half almost done. So again, we are still on the left side and here is like the bottom of the eyeball curve and I'm just trying to like bring the cheek outwards because like how I have this little frog dude in my head, he has like little chubby cheeks that stick out further than the eyes or maybe just about the same as the eyes. I don't know, but it needs to go in for the eyeball and then out for the cheeks. So that's what I'm working on. And honestly, it's, it's hard to get like these curves the way you want, especially like when you're just trying to do an outline, it just doesn't look right because everything is kind of like pixely and stuff like that. So that's why I'm kind of going in chunks. Um, I do a little outline of a chunk and then I will fill it in a little bit more because I just can't see the finished 
like what it's gonna look like when it's finished when I just do this little like tiny outline just with a couple blocks of waterscaping I have to flesh it all out and see if it looks good so that's kind of the technique that works for me I don't know if that works for everyone that's probably just what has to work for a project of this scale but anyways we got through it now we are on the right side of the face and after fixing up kind of like the eyeball curve I am going ahead and I'm doing the same thing just bringing out the shape to make the little cheeks so this is the right cheek of the frog just doing the same old same old don't really have to explain it that much but then on this side I do decide to go even further down and I start doing like the mid midsection of the cheek like this top little curve is like the top of the cheek and then you have like the middle cheek and then you have like the bottom corner of the cheek you know you know so that's what i started doing right here and as you can see on the map we have like the little cheeks starting to form and yes they do stick out further than the eyeballs i was correct in that sense but yeah this is how the map is coming along and then here I'm trying to bring the cheek in just a little bit. Start making that curve back towards the bottom because I didn't want it to just be a straight line all the way down on the side of the cheek. I didn't want it to look blocky like that. I needed some curves. So I started playing with it a little bit, trying to get some curvature going for our little froggy. And then this is me fleshing out the outlines um, kind of near the top of the cheek on the right side because I wanted to make sure this looked good before I started going any further. I've kind of just liked that whenever I do big projects like that. I just, I can't just, you know, go top to bottom. I literally go back and forth. I start working on the right side and then I start working on the left side and then I go too far on the right side and I'm like, wait, I gotta go make sure the left side looks good too. Gotta make sure everything looks even. Ugh, that's just how I deal with projects like this. But anyway. And now I am starting to work on that right side, back again to the right side, always going back and forth, and just bringing that mid section of the cheek down. It is kind of just like a long, blocky river, which I don't vibe with too much. I really like natural looking rivers, but it's kind of hard. I don't know, maybe someone else could do a better job than me in making a more natural looking one, but to create this very specific shape, I feel like this is what I had to do. Maybe in the future I can kind of like tweak it here and there. We can add some little curves, maybe. I'm also not a big waterscaping expert, so I'm just doing my best. So this is what it started looking like after I got some little curves going on the left side. And you can kind of see down on the map, it's looking really cute. We're starting to get a very slight curve inwards, not a super sharp curve, like for the eyes and for where the cheeks start to stick out. So I figured out, um, I was like, I don't know how to connect these things. I don't know how, how to connect the cheeks and how to connect it to the bottom. So I decided to start making the bottom first, which I knew was going to be another really straight river, like really straight straight line of river which I'm okay with because my plaza area the very front of my island is going to be kind of like a rigid city area so I'm going to be fine with a straight river but yeah here is how the map started looking for the little river on the bottom for the bottom of the face I wanted it to take up three squares so th squares uh three four and five I wanted it to take up those three and end right at the corners of those squares if that makes sense on the map if you're looking at the little grid I don't think I have to explain this too much I just went ahead and kept waterscaping just digging my shovel into the ground I spent like five hours on this project actually um, a lot of it was flattening the back part of my island with the cliffs but a lot of it was the actual terraforming I had three hours of footage because I had to pause it here and there because I couldn't have a five hour long recording but yeah I had three hours of footage that I had to, had to condense into this video it was a lot but this is what I meant by the river on the bottom taking up three grid spaces. As you can see, like grids three, four, and five, they're all covered and the river ends right at the edges of those little grids. So that's exactly what I was trying to do. And then here, once again, we are back on the left side, me just flip-flopping everywhere all over on this project because I realized, oh, I didn't even flesh out and do this little upper part of the cheek area so i was like wait gotta make sure that's all taken care of you know because we can't start connecting the bottom to the top you know and like the little cheek areas unless we have the cheek areas to begin with and i had it on the right side but then i got distracted doing the bottom and i didn't have it on the left side but anyways <laughs> but once again pretty self-explanatory just dig 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 digging with the shovel 
digging with a shovel. And you know what's kind of concerning? Like, is our whole island really, like, is the dirt on our island really that little, like, shallow? Like, we just dig with a shovel and there's just a huge puddle underneath. There's just water everywhere. Like, that's kind of scary. What if, like, you fall in or something? I don't know. Like, that's kind of scary. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, there's such a thin little layer of dirt on top of the water. Like, is this safe? How are houses on top of this dirt? But anyways, here is where I realized that I would need to move some houses because, like an idiot, I moved all my houses to this little corner and all my shops and all my trees and all my flowers. So as you can see, Nook's Cranny is in the way. That little bridge is in the way. Also, um, Gail's house, by the way, I do have Gail now. Got her in a livestream villager hunt. So her house is also in the way. So after moving the shop and time traveling, we could get back to work. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that I did move it. So uh, it's not a total shock that now it's not there anymore. <laughs> and now once again, I flip flop to the other side. We're back on the right side and I'm trying to connect the cheek down to the little bottom part that I made. And I'm struggling a lot, so I decide instead of going from the top down, I'm going to bring it from the bottom up and try to connect them that way. And this helped a lot. I just made like these little like two tile indentations all the way up and it came out really good. So that's basically what I did. Also, this balloon floating by is very painful. I'm sorry I didn't get it. I was just really, really engrossed by this and I didn't want to waste my time by getting balloons. So sorry if I missed a lot of balloons. I'm sure I missed quite a few. But as you can see on the map, uh, if you get a quick glance at it, it's really coming together. The shape is really forming. It's very, very exciting stuff. Um, it, it's pretty much almost done at this point. Of course, there's a lot of tweaks. There will forever be tweaks. I will probably always be tweaking this because I, it just be like that on my islands. I just always fix things up and redo them and all kinds of stuff. So this is probably not going to be the final draft of this little thing. What is this? A river, I guess? <laughs> but yeah, here's the map. Once I fully connected that bottom right corner, I think it came out really good. That was a good curve shape that I managed to do there. I'm really satisfied with it, really happy with it. So now all that's left to do is to do the same thing, but on the left side. So I'm going to kind of skip through the formalities here, just kind of show you once it's already done. And like I said, Gail's house was also in the way. And this is where I realized, oh, I can't get any more done until I moved her house, so I moved her house and time traveled and now it's raining. But ultimately, we got it, we figured it out, we're all good, everyone's safe and happy, and we continued to break the dirt and get the water, waterscaping. It's a beautiful, wonderful thing. So after all of that, um, the last step for me was to go and round off all of these little sharp pointy edges, and I will also spare you the entire footage of that because otherwise this video would be multiple hours long if I included all of the raw footage but this is just basically what I did so imagine me doing that just the whole way around the whole way around and I wanted to show just a little before after type of thing this is the map before I go and round off all the corners and this is it after I go and round off all the corners and make little tweaks so before after before after it's quite a difference if I do say so myself and the very last step which was in my rough draft were some little eyeballs I really like the froggy face shape on its own you could be done here honestly but I wanted to add some eyeballs so after playing with a lot of options um, I just figured out oh yeah just a huge bulky path is the way to go just using some pathing to shape out some somewhat of a circle shape <laughs> that's basically what I did not very much to tell I think for this I have some other ideas of what I want to do I don't think it's gonna stay just big blobs of pathing forever I do have ideas don't want to spoil them yet just in case I don't end up doing them but yeah, I would stay tuned to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe please. And you can keep up with cool frog stuff like this and other stuff that I do that's not frog related. But yeah, if you want to keep up with that and keep up with, you know, the final renditions of this island, we just started it, we just got terraforming, so you're not too late, you haven't missed much. You haven't missed much, you can stick around for all the builds and stuff like that. And if you're already a subscriber, then thanks so much, I appreciate you. And I hope you enjoy a build again. It's been so long since I've done a speed build. It's crazy, but I'm so excited to get back into it. Feels great to be back. 
feels great. And now we're starting fresh. I got some new content, new ideas, and now that we have 100 design slots, I feel like I'm unstoppable, honestly. I feel like there's nothing stopping me from achieving my hopes and dreams on this island. This island is gonna be my life's greatest work. After this, I can die happy. But anyways, after just mindlessly putting down paths, you really don't need to see the whole thing. It just there. It, that's it. <laughs> after I did that on both sides, we have some little eyeballs and they're very cute, right? Very cute. Might make changes to them eventually, but I also wanted to include kind of like a little highlight, just some more character, just so it's not just so flat looking. So I added like a little what is this called like little twinkly it's not supposed to be a pupil but it kind of just looks like a pupil it's supposed to be like the little highlight yeah the little highlight that's what it is so i did that just by doing some extra waterscaping and turning it into a little circle and i do think it came out very nice i tried to do different kinds of paths within the dirt path but it does not work that way i discovered it just shows up as one bulky path so that doesn't work <laughs> but after all of the hard work after all of the sweat and the tears and the physical activity that i did not sign up for this is the final map this is what it came out like um it's not final final again i do think i'm going to be making some changes uh, eventually as I progress on my island and I also do intend to connect this river to the river mouths that are both on like the south part of my island I just forgot to do that and I was too lazy so that's gonna be it for me today you guys I really hope you enjoyed this video it would mean so much to me if you could give it a like if you did like it and I guess if you didn't like it you can go ahead and dislike I don't know it all counts as engagement for me so take your pick if you're new here once again I would kindly ask that you subscribe to the channel i have a lot of speed builds that are going to be coming out i also have a lot of past speed builds on my old fairy court island if you want to check those out they're still really really good if you're a social media kind of person go ahead and follow me on twitter instagram tiktok that i don't ever post on i would love to see you there thank you so so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one